At, at what time in the future do you think you will be ready to undergo different scientific tests yourself? I have no objection to scientific tests, but there are two things which you must consider. Even if I submit to tests, it will not change the attitude of people. In Russia, now they are investigating the Psi phenomena very thoroughly and they have achieved some positive results. But the general attitude of disbelief in God still persists. They treat these now as some sort of an energy. That is one thing. The second thing is that mere test to show that the reproductive energy is going up, though it, it can be demonstrated in many ways, would be just dismissed as, well, it can be a some abnormal phenomena in one or two people. Well, however it is, don't you think that because you are one of the few people alive who has had the experience, who knows what it means... First, give the widest publicity to what I say. I have yet very much to say. Even after all these discussions, there is still a big volume to be said. I would like to give wide publicity to what I say. Then, to discuss with a number of scientists who are deeply interested and who are in a very receptive frame to discuss the possibilities and then we can even do it. And I don't want to offer myself to experimentation to people who have not first understood what I say, who just are totally ignorant of the whole science. I can give you a number of cases who have these experiences in whom this is occurring and who can be examined. But first of all, let us create interest and a section of people who really want it. You can at least know about the pragmatic value of the transformation by my writings. If a whole host of new facts and a discovery of paramount importance for mankind is placed before you, I think perhaps greater than the discovery of gravity or relativity because it is a global uh, discovery of the evolutionary impulse and how it is affecting mankind. In fact, your survival depends on it. Admitted, but the point, you know, I think is still correct that the physiological law is going to have to be built step by step. To understand any physiological law, such as, as you are postulating here, a, a very general physiological law, it's going to have to be built somehow, step by step. It has to be built, and for this evidence has to be furnished. But you will not be able, just without giving out the whole doctrine, and without giving it wide publicity, so that a burning curiosity is, is created, your physiological tests will have no value. Mm -hmm. Ten doctors may gen or a few people may read it. Let me, let me rephrase it. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I think we're pushing for this, in a way. And let, try, let, you know, try to see my point as strongly as possible. For, for a couple of years, transcendental meditation was taught. They claim many claims. There's a whole philosophy with it, which I don't really know. It wasn't till Wallace, who was then a graduate student, who happened to be a transcendental person, a person who took this meditation, showed that something affected, that some of their claims had, had some effect. It could be nothing. Here. One moment. The secret of yoga has not been published yet. There is a whole chapter devoted to this sort of training. One whole chapter, and it is total futility. I think, I think what Eric was, was getting at was that the publicity and the testing go side by side because there's a certain establishment that will read the tests. A physiological test, even if it is proved, will detract from the value of what I write at this stage, unless more is written and a greater publicity is given. I will be treated just as a cheap exhibitor. I want to avoid that. All people are not scientific-minded. I can tell you, even in Europe, 
while people are resent. No, 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 but, but I meant... Oh, I understand that. We know I know that. that. And I replied by saying that prematurely we should avoid anything which tends to put us in the same category as as the teachers of other systems of meditation, what we are going to do is to present a hypothesis which explains several categories of mental phenomena, madness, neurosis, superconsciousness, psychic gifts and genius. So let us first give wide publicity to it. So your the time of guests will also come. Right, your tactic then is to make the hypothesis widely known. Yes, and then cited, and there will be a demand. Maybe. I, I don't know that it works that way, but I hope so. Okay. <laughs> Let us see.